Now in this last part of the question, we're told that the normal to the curve C at the point A, that's that, this line here, meets C again at the point B. And we've got to find the coordinates then of this point B. And in the previous part, we found out that the equation of the normal was 2x plus 8y minus 1 equals 0. And the coordinates of A was a half 0. So how are we going to go about this kind of problem, find the coordinates of B? Well, when you want to find out where any two curves intersect, we need to do simultaneous equations. So we'll have a look then at saying at B. Okay, at B we've got our two equations. Let's just write them down. The equation of the normal, 2x plus 8y minus 1 equals 0. And we've got the equation of the curve, which is y equals 2 minus 1 over x. And if we're doing simultaneous equations, good idea to number these equations. We'll call it 1 and 2. And what I'd want to do is a substitution method. It seems to be me to be the easiest method here. So what I'm going to do is substitute, we'll just write sub for short, substitute equation 2 into equation 1. And if we do that, we're going to have 2x then. So we'll have therefore 2x plus 8 times y. So y we now know is 2 minus 1 over x. And then we've got minus 1 equals 0. I want to expand the bracket out here. So we've got therefore 2x plus, and then we've got 8 times 2 is 16. And then we've got minus 8 over x. And then minus 1 equals 0. So we'll come down here next. And if we carry on, what I'd want to do is we've got 16 take away 1, well that's 15. And I'd want to get rid of this x that's in the denominator of this fraction. So I'm going to multiply throughout by x. So it'll be 2x times x, which will give me, therefore, 2x squared. Then we've got 16, as I said, take 1, which is 15. Multiply that by x, and you're going to get 15x. And then x times minus 8 over x, well that just leaves me with minus 8, and obviously 0 times x is just going to be 0. So I've got a quadratic equation, and it's rearranged into the right format. So I just need to either use the quadratic formula, or I'm assuming this is going to factorise. Well, I know it's going to factorise because we've already got one of the solutions. It's at this point at A. I know that x should equal a half, so that can help me factorise this, okay? A couple of brackets equals zero. If I know that x should equal a half, then 2x must have equaled one. And if 2x equaled one, 2x minus one would have equaled zero. So I can see that one of these factors must be 2x minus one. And that means that this has got to be an x here to give me the 2x squared. And to get minus 8, it just needs to be plus 8. And you can check it out that it's going to work. 2x times 8 is 16x minus 1x gives me the 15x. So, as I was saying earlier, each of these factors then should equal 0. We know that, therefore, 2x minus 1 should equal 0 or the other factor, x plus h, should equal 0. This one, if we add 1 to both sides and divide by 2, leads to x equaling a half. And for this one, if we subtract 8 from both sides, x equals minus 8. Well, clearly, x equals a half, as I say, at a, not at b. So we can see that the x-coordinate at b must be the minus 8. So, therefore, we can say at b, x equals minus 8. Well, we've got to find the coordinates of b, so we now need the y-coordinate. And the best place we can get the y-coordinate would be to substitute into equation 2. 
So I'm going to say sub x equals minus 8 into equation 2. And if we do that, then what we're going to have, we'll just come down here now, what we're going to have will be that therefore y would equal 2 minus 1 divided by minus 8. Well, that's going to be 2 and 1 eighth. Or if you keep it as a top heavy fraction, which I prefer, it's going to be 17 over 8. So we can wind the problem up by saying, therefore, the coordinates of b are going to be the x coordinate, which is minus 8, and the y coordinate is 17 over 8, 17 eighths. And that seems to check out with our diagram here that we're getting a positive value for b. So there we go.